Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanWithIt.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to customize the screen and display of your Infinix Note 4 smartphone. So here we go. So to customize the display of your Infinix Note 4, first of all you need to go to the settings, scroll down and go to the display part here just tap on it and then you will find lots of options so the first one is brightness level obviously you can just slide it or you can use the automatic brightness and then there is wallpaper section obviously you know how it works then there is LED reminder light it's none of your business right now so the next one is font size so if you go here you will find there are three font size available right now so this is the middle one at default you can go to the small one or you can go to the larger one you can see live example if you are selecting any of these options so what will happen with the text size once you are okay with any of these then just tap on apply so this is how you can change the font size the next one is font style if you tap on it here you will find all of the fonts available for you so you can see that right now there is just one font that's default and it's already applied so if you want new fonts just go to your home screen and have a look on this option called X theme this is Infinix application that you can use for downloading lots of stuff for customization of your device so you can see there are lots of options available like themes, wallpaper, font and something called me. It's uh, for your personal account. So if you just go to the font, here you will find all of the fonts available for your phone. So you can see there are lots of options. For example, if you go to this Crofi um, Tum Tum, I don't know what it is. So here you will find this font and a demo of the font as well like this. So you can see if you are going to select this font, if you are going to download it, you will get this kind of font. So you can just tap on download and then you can download it. You will have to log into your account first as you can see here. So this is what me part exactly does. First of all, you need to log into your Infinix account and then you can download any of these fonts available. Once these fonts are downloaded, you can find them under display in the font style section and then you can from here you can apply uh, any of them and after that the option is called display size right now it's selected as larger so you can see once again the live demo we got three options larger large and small so if i just select a small and apply and if i go back to my home screen everything will be smaller so you can see my desktop is being set up once again so you can see all of the icons and everything is smaller with respect to what we had earlier you will get better idea from here and uh, everything will be smaller if you just go to the settings you can see that now the text and everything is smaller here as well so once again you can go to display size and you can select larger apply and you can see the difference once again here so this is how the display size option works here and uh, after that there is slip you can select the duration when you want your display to go to slip then auto rotate screen in advantly mode uh, then the last option is mirror vision this is an interesting option because it let you customize the display basically so once you are in this section, you will see there are three tiny lines here, hamburger icon, very small hidden at the top here. So just tap on this and then you will find lots of options on the sidebar. So the first one is picture mode. You tap on it, you will find three options, the standard, vivid and the user mode. So right now it's at standard, if you tap on vivid, there will be some slight changes in the color saturation and everything you can see that some slight change is happening each time I'm tapping on it and you can see that lots of options are not available right now because they are in 
user mode so if i just select the user mode then you will get this option that user mode allows you to manually adjust picture display tap on ok and once again if you go to the menu you will find all of these options those were not available to me earlier now they're available and you can uh, manually select and customize any of these settings so for example you can go to contrast and then you will get this option here you can use this slider to see what's happening on the screen so you can select the contrast level from here it's totally up to you once you are done with that you can just tap on this arrow icon here and then the saturation will come here once again you can select the saturation just by moving the slider here you will get the idea before and after of the color tuning you can see here it's written before and after so this is pretty easy and basic functionality and here is the picture brightness once again the slider is provided here to customize whatever you want these are the three options available for the user mode control situation and picture brightness as you can see here and then in the advanced mode what you got is sharpness color temperature so if you go to the sharpness once again you will find this slider you can just move this slider and you can see that how much changes you are getting in after part once you are done with this you can either go to the menu or you can just tap on this arrow icon once again to go to the next mode that's color temperature you can once again slide it to change the color temperature from hot to cold depending on your choice so you can see how it's changing from hot to cold and cold to hot here after that once again you can go to the menu here and then you will find the option called dynamic contrast and this is basically for videos so if you go here you can see what dynamic contrast exactly does if you just tap on this slider here so you can see that the contrast is changed here you can see now like after turning it on it's more sharp and a bit more bright here as well so this is the dynamic contrast and this is without it so these are the options available on your Infinix Note 4 smartphone to customize the display. So this mirror vision is really nice as it allows you to perform lots of customization on your Infinix Note 4 screen and display. So this is how you can customize the display of your Infinix Note 4 according to your choice and preference. So that's all for now friends, thanks for watching the video. And if you like this video, do not forget to share it with your friends, like it, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks, and hands and just like this. I'll see you guys next time in another video. Have a nice day.